You know what I really, really love? I love launching websites for clients, watching the site go live, seeing that the client is happy, everything's working great, putting my hands up and rejoicing because of all the hard work that I've put in, it's paid off and everything is awesome. But let me tell you something, that happy moment does not come without its hard, frustrating times and a tumultuous journey. Launching a website is difficult. There's so much back and forth between you and the client, there's bugs to work out, there's content to find, Who's got the content? Who's got the content? At times when you're working on a site, it feels like you're never gonna get to the finish line, that you're never gonna get to that happy moment at the end of the tunnel where the light is shining bright, but that the tunnel is slowly closing in on you and will collapse and suffocate you. That was a little bit dramatic, but let me start this video the right way. What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter, and today we're talking about a tool that I just got done using on a real client project that allowed me to collaborate with my client and get the site up 10 times faster than I ever have before. It's amazing, it's useful, it's pastel. All right, so you can jump online and go to usepastel.com to find out all the features and the packages and pricing and all more information about Pastel. You can also sign up here for a 14 day free trial, which is super awesome. The awesome people at Pastel have offered you 10% off if you wanted to sign up for your first month of full usage of Pastel. Um, and there's a link down in the description if you're interested in that. Once you get your free trial or you sign up to use Pastel, all you gotta do is log in by simply clicking right up here. I've successfully logged in and you can see that I have two projects currently on my dashboard. This is it. It's not confusing if you want to use it. You literally log in and this is all you're going to see, which is kind of nice actually. Um, you can see I have two projects or canvases that I've already created. I can edit them or delete them or I can come up here and uh, enter in a new uh, URL. So um, I could go out to my personal website right here and grab the URL and I could just enter it in right there and create a canvas and it's that simple. Okay, Pastel is gonna do all the work of going out to the web and grabbing your website and it's gonna kind of like house it in here. So here we have, you can see it was created on this date. Um, it has zero comments currently, okay? Um, this is the project I just got done wrapping up and you can see it still has a few items that I have yet to tick off so you can see how that works. Let's do that. So we've added one. Um, if we wanted to share, it's really easy. We literally just click on the share. When you click share, you'll be presented with two options. You can either invite someone to the project or create a shareable link. I just clicked the shareable link and sent that to my client along with a nice friendly email introducing them to what was gonna go on. When they opened that up, they were instantaneously collaborating with me on the project. It was awesome. You can close that and I'm just gonna open up the canvas. It's gonna open it up in a new uh, tab and you can see around the side of the entire interface is this blue kind of like border. That's letting us know that commenting is on. So I can currently click anywhere. You can see my my little cursor click anywhere and I can leave a comment right there okay when I leave a comment I can open up my comments over to the side and you can see all the comments that have been resolved on this project and you can see the ones that are still current if you want to turn off commenting so you can navigate around you just turn off and you just move yourself around the website like this I'm gonna look at the comments now and just kind of show you how those look so I can look at a comment right here. Um, I can resolve it and say that's good. I can respond to it. I can edit what I said, like this looks good. Okay, and save it. It timestamps the comment for you. It also tells you what operating system and what browser and at what dimensions they're looking at it. So if you have some sort of responsive issue that you're dealing with or you have some sort of QA on a different operating system, you don't have to ask the client, okay, what browser were you looking at that in? It's all right here and you can address that in your project, which is really, really nice. Once you're done with a comment, you can just resolve it and it goes green check mark and it moves over into our resolved and they're all, you know, chronological so you can go back in time and look. I can mark all of these as red if I want to, which is really, really nice. And I also have the ability to jump back and forth between a mobile view and kind of see the site that way or back into the full on desktop view. That's really, really, like the whole thing is just so intuitive. So content, I did so much like uh, work on content using this. I got initial content into the site, started working the whole thing out, and then just went around and turned commenting on and said, what do you want it to say here? Or uh, I need updated verbiage here. And it was like I was assigning it to them. They would respond back in the comments. I would update it, resolve it, bam, moving on. And it was just everything was combined here. Content, QA, features, fixes, bugs, 
everything was all here and it was just such a streamlined experience. What got even better is when I realized that if I had a larger project, the, the resolving the, everything over here in my comments bar was good, but if I needed more detail, if I needed more structure um, behind all of these to-dos that I was using, I could go through and create tickets in Trello for each one of them simply by exporting to Trello. I'm gonna view it on Trello. I just open up Trello and you can see all of my cards have been moved into my to-do and <laughs> amazing, Pastel has even gone ahead and exported the screenshot that represents that thing. So now uh, I'm, uh, this is not a subpar experience if my team is using Trello or Monday or Asana. It's an equally beautiful experience. I still get all the same kind of like information stamping on it, like browser and all that kind of stuff. I get my image of what's actually going wrong and I get my comment and I can just move it into my doing and then into my done. Well, that's it, that's Pastel. It's so easy, so intuitive and so worth it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm usually a person who will do everything in his power to use free versions of things and not pay extra because when you're freelancing, it's just part of overhead. You don't, the, the more overhead that I can spare, the better. But when I start thinking, how much is my time actually worth? How much do I bill a client for each hour that I work if I was to charge them hourly? I would estimate that during this project, I saved myself a good 12 to 15 hours of client back and forth, of content iterations, of Q&A, of feedback, of fixes, at least 12 hours of back and forth email and client meetings trying to fix little things because all of it was just so streamlined using Pastel. So to me, I just made money. And I think the biggest thing is, I, it didn't steal my joy. One of the biggest things that will just rob you of joy and suck the life out of you is constant back and forth and the project never feeling like it's gonna launch. You wanna feel like you're gung-ho moving forward. My clients loved it. They were happy with the project. They're happy with the process and they were happy using Pastel. They loved being able to be collaborative in real time like that. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and product reviews of things that I love just like this one, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and make sure to check the description for 10% off of Pastel by using the discount code. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and using smart tools that save you time and make you money. I'll see you in the next one.